price earning ratio the type of valuation will be pe multiplier based valuation now what is price earnings ratio it is the ratio of market price per share and earnings per share you have to be little careful about this particular ratio because sometimes this ratio may be the comparison of current market price per share with the current earnings per share or sometimes the same ratio could be reflected little differently that is uh, the current market price per share may be related with the expected earnings per share as well let me give you this point clear by an example assume that a particular share in the market it is currently quoted at rupees 400 and it is expected that the company has potential of earning uh, maybe rupees 50 per share so if i pick my calculator investing 400 now you have expectation that the earnings per share would be rupees 50 so 50 divided by 400 if i take the percentage i get 12.5% as your expected rate of earnings so expected rate of earnings what you can call even as k because that will be earnings based expected rate of return by the shareholder so 12.5% is the expected rate of return so because you are investing 400 now and expecting to have eps of rupees 50 if you compare the current market price with the expected earnings per share it is 400 divided by 50 that is market price per share divided by earnings per share that would give you what 8 times correct now what happens price earning ratio is considered to be inverse of the expected rate of return on earnings basis for example in this case the price earning ratio in my example is coming as 8 times if i take inverse of 8 1 divided by 8 what i get is 0.125 which reflects 12.5% as the rate of return which is expected by shareholder so the price earning ratio and ke can be considered to be inverse of each other now look at one thing in this current example i just explained you that by investing rupees 400 now you are expecting to have eps of rupees 50 sometimes questions may give you scenario little differently they may say that uh, the current market price per share is 400 and current eps is rupees 50 so still the price earning ratio remains 8 times and the return on equity or the expected rate of return on equity remains 12 and a half percent but whenever you are having involvement of any growth rate in the scenario that time it will be of crucial importance that which years price is connected with which years earnings keep that thing in mind because there is no static type of situations that you will be facing both scenarios are possible so price earning ratio has that same meaning whether you are connecting the market price per share of today with uh, expected earnings per share that you will get after one year or today's market price is compared with today's earnings per share itself so be prepared what is given in the question and the language of the question carries lot of importance so let me explain this a little better through an example as in how do we use pe multiplier based valuation concept of price earning ratio this is the ratio of market price per share with earnings per share so pe ratio is simply mpps divided by eps for example a limited has reported eps of rupees 40 its current market price per share or mpps is rupees 320 its price earning ratio will be 320 divided by 40 and that comes to 8 times now guys look at one thing in this scenario in this scenario the current market price is 320 and it is the current eps which is 40 in the example that i narrated some time back i was connecting the 
current market price per share with the expected earnings per share. But in this example, it is given little different. It is market price per share at present compared with the earnings per share at present. I told you both possibilities exist. So what do we conclude from this? This ratio indicates that the MPPS that is market price per share is 8 times of EPS. Now this becomes the PE multiplier. Now what will be the role of PE multiplier? I will explain in a while. First you write up this note quickly. Alright friends, once you have completed writing this much, let us move ahead and see the role of price earning multiplier that is PE multiplier. Suppose in the next year the company reports EPS of rupees 50. How will you estimate its MPPS that is market price per share? So expected market price per share will be EPS multiplied by PE multiplier. So that will be rupees 15 to 8 times that comes to rupees 400. Now the above computed expected MPPS indicates the fair value of the share that the investor should expect. If the actual quoted market price is rupees 380, then it is considered that the share is underpriced and in such situations you would advise to buy the share. In such situation, the investor would prefer buying this share in the stock market because the actual price is less than the fair value. Inversely, if the actual quoted market price is rupees 420, then it is considered that the share is overpriced and the investors will prefer selling this share. So please write up this much and then I take you ahead.